Assalamualaikum. Good morning. This is Paritosh Thakur. Today's topic that we have chosen is Pareto principle. Uh, so this principle, uh, I have received the message from the many uh, social media that why should not make on this Pareto analysis. So Pareto principle or analysis, uh, we are going to discuss in detail. But before that, I just want to say to all my audience that you watch it, then you share the feedback as well as the thumb uh, like. So without like this, uh, this we are not getting the benefit. So moving forward, Pareto principle states that 80% of the outcomes comes from 20% of the causes. This principle which was arrived, derived during the land ownership imbalance in the Italy. And the person who derived this principle, his name was Wilfred Pareto. Wilfred Pareto was a civil engineer socialist, uh, economist, political scientist, philosopher and he made uh, several contributions to the economics particularly into the microeconomics and the income distribution and or individual income. He was uh, also responsible for introducing the word elite. Elite is mostly used in the social income distribution or the individual choices. He has given enormous impact to the microeconomics which was later developed as a subject of a study. Then uh, what are the key points of this study? So the key points of this observation say that the relation between input and output is not correct and it is used as a general reminder for any country. Whatever he says that 20% is the only responsible for the 80% consequences. This rule, also known as Pareto rule or the 80-20 rules. Oh. <clears throat> this rule suggests whenever you are trying to solve many of the problems, so he is saying don't uh, distress yourself with many of the problems. Get the data, each one, and you will find who is the biggest payoff. The problem, the area, the task, who has the biggest payoff, only you have to solve that. Or you have to prioritize them first. This helping people to organize the workload more efficiently. If you get the, that this is the most uh, contributing factor for any problem, so that particular window, that particular problem, you have to solve them. That 8020 rule, for example, he said that how it works, like Corona transport, uh, transmutation or the COVID <coughs> infection period in the last two years that we have said that very few people first infected but they are not uh, quarantined or they are not separated from the mass. Suppose some of the people which had infected and they suppose not to go anywhere but they visited to the temple, they visited to the church or the worshipping palace or somewhere of the like railway station or the bus stand where there was mass gathering and there happened a super spreading event and these people, the few people who were infected, they super spreaded all the, uh, all the people and most of the people in the country get infected. Supposedly, this is uh, one example. The second example you can go that uh, in any business or any source of uh, income source, uh, 80% of the revenue is generating from the 20% of the customer. Uh, Sometimes it happens like all of this income coming from a particular group. So whenever uh, people, whenever the or, uh, organizer or the owner of the uh, company or owner of the business, they are designing a loyalty program or any award function or any award program. So in that, you must have to take care that this 20% who is generating 80% of the revenue to be taken care of. However, uh, this may happen that this percentage may go wrong. So we are saying this, uh, this is a benefit of this, this is the advantage of this principle that it gives you a window, particular window of prioritize the things or um, focus the things or to focus the problem. Similarly, the disadvantage is that this 80-20 rule, what you are saying that, that does not necessarily mean that it is always true. So the ratio that he is giving 80 or 20, that may be not true in some cases. For example, in a factory or in an organization, that 
30 percent people is doing the 80 percent of the job or 30 percent people is doing the 70 percent job and rest of the 70 people, 70 percent people, 70 percent employee uh, lagging off and they are completing the rest 30 percent. So the percentage may be up or down. But uh, this is something that you will get the focus that who is the main contributor of the success or the problem. Uh, for another example to understand this, this is how percentage can be changed. Uh, this is the data of the late arrival people uh, reported on duty. So when the, uh, our HR studied this all, they find that with the interviewing of all the employees that 55% is the problem because of uh, traffic congestion or traffic is the main contributor of the problem. However, rest 45% is child care, public transport, weather, overslept, emergency. But when we are going to solve this issue, our main focus is to be uh, solve how this traffic can be avoided. Like we can schedule our duty uh, one hour before or one hour later or winter duty, summer duty, like that can be done to solve the traffic congestion, to the traffic issue, traffic avoidance. And then after that, we have to gather the data, all the data again to solve this the next problem. So, the in short, this is saying that the input and output ratio is not balanced. In that case, this Pareto principle should be employed and we need to find out the major contributor of the, any problem and to be solved that problem only and then data to be gathered again. So that's all. Thank you very much for the day. We'll wait for your feedback. That's all. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.